Friends, it was Mondays with Rich Rod, and once again, the coach of the 6-2 and two Arizona Wildcats took the mic this afternoon after another big victory over 15th-ranked Washington State. Get this, the now 23rd-ranked Cats went 4-0 in the month of October, and this Saturday's winner between USC and Arizona will have sole possession of first place in the Pac-12 South. And get this, sophomore quarterback Khalil Tate, the teenager, was just named the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week again. Yes, it is the fourth straight week for Tate. This after throwing for 275 yards and rushing for another 146 as the Cats took down Wazoo 57-38. Tate has also been named the semifinalist for the Maxwell Award, which is presented to the Collegiate Player of the Year. Apart from rushing for 840 yards in the month of October, Tate's pass efficiency rating, 187.5, leads the Pac-12. Next closest is Jake Browning from Washington with a 153.4. Well, or 153, 153.4. So. With all the success, does Tate deserve a nickname? That's the question. I say Tate the Great. Ari Alexander, ask Coach Ritra. Is that like, like standard protocol? Like if somebody's like going off the charts, you got to have a nickname for him? You know, that's okay. I mean, somebody's called him the big cat. He is kind of a big fella. Got a big head, you know. But um, no, I, no, I'll let you all figure that out. He's, 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 I haven't seen anything. You sometimes you'd worry about if a guy getting a lot of attention, is it going to go to his head, so to speak? I haven't seen anything change in his demeanor. He's, he's handled everything as about as well as you could hope to somebody that's had such a phenomenal four weeks. Meanwhile, it was a big month of October for the Pima County Sports Hall of Fame. 14 men and women were inducted into the class of 2017, including Super Bowl quarterback and former Saguaro High standout Rodney Pete. World Series first baseman Chris Duncan and his Yankees brother Shelly Duncan, a grad of CDO and Arizona football coach Dick Tomey, just to name a few. It's hard to include the accolades of all the inductees in just one sports class, so I'll break out the names for you. You can go to kvoa.com to get all the details. Here we go. Congrats is in order to Kelly Silva, McKee Whitney Dosti, uh, Sybil Dosti, Rodney Pete, Pam Reed, Jane Martinelli, Ken Kurtz, Jim Pyers, Paula Pyers, Brian Peabody, Robbie Moen, Dick Tomey, Chris Duncan, and Shelly Duncan. It's a very exciting feeling. Growing up here in Tucson, there's a lot of people in uh, Pima County and Tucson that you know I had a chance to look up to and uh, that drove me. Uh, to have the career I did, I'm very lucky. Um, can't take any of the credit. You have good coaches, good family, good friends around you. The person I'm most proud to be part of is uh, my brother Chris. You know, being inducted with him, that's a very special. Tucson Pride. All right, congrats, my friend. We are far from over with. After the break, a Tucson Roadrunner hockey player has been called up to the NHL and the Arizona Coyotes. Plus, we are now learning almost $10,000 was raised over the weekend through the sport of Zumba to help those stricken with breast cancer. Details next.